Now let's see this example. Design DFA to accept all binary strings which are divisible by 3. We know what is a binary number. It is a combination of 0 and 1. Uh, first let us represent the numbers from uh, uh, 0 to 10 in binary notation. Uh, this is nothing but here we have 3 columns. Decimal number, next binary number and reminder. Here we need to calculate the reminder. Why? Because here what is our target? Our DFA should accept binary numbers which are divisible by 3. Okay. Divisible by 3 is nothing but modulo operation. If that modulo 3 equal to 0, then we can say that that number is divisible by 3. Uh, binary number means uh, we can use either 2 1 notation or 4 2 1 notation or 8 4 2 1 notation. Here I am using 4 2 1 notation for representing the decimal numbers from 0 to 7. So, 0 we can write 0 as triple 0. So, what is the result of 0 modulo 3? 0 modulo 3 means 3 zeros are 0, 0 minus 0 means 0. So, remainder is 1. Next, let the decimal number is 1. How to represent 1? 0, 0, 1. So, here 1 modulo 3 means 3 zeros are 0. So, 1 minus 0 means 1. So, remainder is 1. Okay. Next, if you take 2, how we can represent 2? 0, 1, 0. What is the remainder here? 3 modulo 2. 3 zeros are 0. So, next 2 minus 0 means 2. Next, if we take 3, we can represent it as 0, 1, 1. Uh, 3 modulo 3 means 0. If we take 4, then 1 double 0. Uh, then the number is 4. What is the remainder? 1. Okay. Uh, here, for the first 4 numbers, from 0 to 3, we can use uh, 2 bits also. So, we can write it as 0, 0. Or for the first 0, we can write single 0. Next, three, double 0, 1 can be written as 0, 1. Uh, uh, yeah, initial of 3 bits. We can also use 2 bits also. Next, for 2, we can write 1, 0. For 3, we can write 1, 1 also. But from 4, we require 3 bits. Okay. Next, 5. How we can represent 5? 1, 0, 1. Remainder is 2. 6, 1, double 0. Remainder. What is remainder? 0. So, likewise, we can represent the numbers. Likewise, we can represent the numbers. Uh, first, let us write the language here. So, L equal to. So, here, what is our target? Our DFA should accept all the binary strings which are divisible by 3. So, that is nothing but factors of 3. So, 0, 3, 6, 9, 12, likewise. How we can represent uh, uh, 0 in binary notation? We can write single 0 or double 0 or triple 0. Next, how we can represent 3 in binary notation? 3 means 0, 1, 1. Next, 6. 6 means 1, double 0. Next, how we can represent 9? For 9, we have to use 4 bits. 8, 4, 2, 1 notation. So, we can write it as 1, double, 0, 1. Next, for 12, 1, 1, 0. Next, 15 means all 1s. So, likewise, we can have n number of uh, n number of uh, strings here. So, for this, we have to design the DFA. Uh, here, if we observe here, if we perform, if we divide any binary number by 3, then the possible remainders are 0, 1, 2. So, these are the possible remainders. So, now we need to have 3 states. So, we require three states such as Q0, Q1 and Q2. So, Q0 for accepting remainder 0 binary numbers. What are remainder 0 binary numbers? 0, 6, 9, 12, 15. Next, Q1 for remainder 1 binary numbers. What are remainder 1 binary numbers? 1 and 4. Next, Q2 for remainder 2 binary numbers. Remainder 2 binary numbers are 2, 1, 5. So, totally we have to take three states. So, let the first state is Q0. Let the initial state is Q0. Uh, Q0 for accepting remainder 0 binding numbers. Q1 for accepting remainder 1 binding numbers. Q2 for accepting remainder 2 binding numbers. So, what is the first number? 0. How we can represent 0? We can represent 0 with the help of single 0 or double 0 or triple 0 also. So, simply we have to write the self loop here. Self loop 0. Here, what is our target? Here, uh, our DFA should accept all the binary numbers which are divisible by 3. So, 3 means it may be 0 or 3 or uh, divisible by 3 means all 3 factors. So, 0, 3, 6, 9, 12. So, if we divide any uh, binary number by 3, then what will happen? We will get 0 as the remainder. So, 0 means this Q0. So, this Q0 will become the final state. Why? Because this Q0 accept remainder 0 binary numbers. 
remained at 0 binary numbers are nothing but divisible by 3 binary numbers okay now let us focus on 1 let us focus on 1 in order to get the remaining transitions next 0 0 1 so q0 on 0 means we will be at q0 only next q0 on 0 means we will be at q0 only next q0 on 1 means we have to move to the 1 1 means q1 state okay so q0 on 1 means move to the state q1 okay next let us focus on the next binary number 0 1 0 0 1 0 so q0 on 0 means we will be at q0 only next q0 on 1 means q1 next if we apply 0 on q1 then we have to reach us to the state q2 if we apply 0 on q1 if we apply 0 on q1 then we have to reach us to the state q2 next let us focus on the next one that is 3 if we apply 0 on q0 then we will be at q0 only next if we apply 1 on q1 if here what is the state here we have to move, move to the state 0 here we have to move to the 0 state that means q0 state so that means here uh, if we apply 0 on q0 we will be at q0 only next if we apply 1 on q0 then we will uh, go to the state q1 next we have to reach us to the state 0 0 so if we apply 1 on q1 then move to the state q0 1 on q1 means q0 q0 means this 0 state q0 state next to q1 state next to q2 state now let us focus on 4 let us focus on 4 so q0 on 1 means we will be at q1 we will be at q1 but here but here what is the target state here 0 is 0 is the uh, here this is nothing but 1 uh, next let us see the next next digit 0 so q1 on 0 means we will go to the state q2 next if we apply 0 on q2 then we have to reach us to the state 1 so 1 means q2 so if we apply 0 on q2 then go to the state q1 why because we have to produce q1 state here next let us focus on 101 let us focus on 101 uh, so q0 on 1 means q1 next q1 on 0 means q2 next uh, we have to stay at if we apply 1 on q2 then we have to stay at we have to stay at 2 only so 2 is nothing but q2 state so 1 on q2 means q2 only uh, next let us focus on 6 so 6 means 1 double 0 so if we apply 1 on q0 then we will uh, go to the state q1 next if we apply 1 on q1 then reaches to move to the state q2 next if we apply 0 on q2 uh, 1 double 0 1 double 0 so what is the state here 1 double 0 is the state here yeah 1 0 0 yeah let, let's check uh, let's check whether our diagram is correct or not before checking the remaining numbers on q0 we have applied 0 and 1 on q1 also we have applied 1 and 0 on q1 also we have applied 1 and 0 yeah on q2 also we have applied 1 and 0 yeah our diagram is correct now let's check whether it is correct or not here how we can represent 6 here 6 means double 1 0 it is not uh, that number double 1 0 so q0 on 1 means q1 next q1 on 1 means q0 q0 on 0 means q0 okay so this is our dfa so in each state we have uses all the symbols such as 0 and 1 now let's check whether our diagram is correct or not with the by taking an input string so let the string is 15 so what is 15 all ones all ones so let's check whether we are getting final state or not okay so initially we will be at q0 initially we will be at q0 next q0 on 1 means we will go to the state q1 next q1 on 1 means q0 next q0 on 1 means q1 q1 on 1 means q0 so we got q0 q0 is nothing but final state so with this we can conclude that our dfa is correct only so this is the dfa for accepting all the binary strings which are divisible by 3 so likewise we can draw the dfa for divisible by 4 divisible by 5 very very easily in the next videos we will see those two examples also.